Hello everyone and welcome to this another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this nice fold corner shadow effect. You can see that it looks like as if the page is kind of flipped on a sh lighting on the top here. So it's a really few simple steps and I'll be showing you that in a moment. Okay, let's create a new document for this. We'll sit in around any dimensions once you've done that click on ok ok let's now add a radial background that which I always start with so I'll be taking let's take in something different this time I'll be using a darker background here just like the light coming from the top there make sure you have your radial set and whichever color you're choosing as a background make sure you have a light and then a dark and just give a lighting from the top there so that we know a light comes so that the object we are drawing will have look, look like a shadow ok now I am going to select any shape here so I will take a sharp rectangle tool with my new layer I am going to set in let's take in white as my foreground just draw a shape here there we go ok let's center that ok once you have that done let's focus on this point here now what we are going to do is first I will change my gradient color here gradient to something like hmm, let's take in something light color here we don't want anything dark because the background is already dark I think this blue will do ok once you have that done let's duplicate this layer so control J to duplicate it and I'm going to change the color of my back color here. So this is the with the behind layer selected. I'm just going to move it a bit on the right and a little on the bottom. If you can see that. Okay, let's zoom in here. Okay, once you have that, just a slight move. Now what I'm going to do is change the color of this. We're not going to use the same blue. So I'm going to just change the radial color here, something to I think white or something different, something lighter depending on what kind of color shadow you want that you can even change that later on ok now once you have that then control T to transform so first we need to wrap this we're going to wrap the text so that it has a curve edge not a straight transforming so if you have your layer select once you transform you won't have your wrap option available so to do that first you go to filter convert to smart filters and click on ok yeah and now what you do is control T to transform right click now you have your wrap option selected here so once you select that make sure you just nudge these points bit in there you go and this one right here same almost make sure you have kind of same so that won't look weird it should be same with the the other curve you made once you have that done click on the check box and let's move this a bit in the right and down you can see that coming out here just don't do it a really lot because it would look weird okay once you have that let's hide these edges here so to do that let's go to our mask click on your mask make sure you have that layer selected switch to your brush tool and set a soft brush there you go and make sure you have black as your foreground and just brush in those corners there and another one right here Let's zoom that this side. Okay. Just to need just brush it a bit. Yeah. Finish that a bit down more. Let's make this a bit left. And zoom back here. Okay, once you have that, that looks really a very sharp kind of curve. You could even add another one on the top there to look it's to make it not look really weird so what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer again control J and I'm going to change this color to white again let's select again the white I just selected right and I'm going to move this left and topwards there you go and zoom in here again we gotta make that a smart filter so filter convert to smart filters ok control T right click select wrap I'm going to bring this one a bit down here now 
and this one too in the last edges here and then let's make a curve one in here one in here and let's take this a bit up and down left make sure you adjust it according to your really your taste okay, and then just let's just brush this aside and on the side here we go zoom back okay we have a nice bend effect there on the corners and now you could even add something to make it look more standing out so i'm having my box in here selected make a new layer and with your pen tool i'm just going to make a curve on the side and let's select the other sides make sure you have it selected right click select make selection i hope you know what i'm doing right here so deselecting this area here select subtract from selection and click on ok and let's switch to our gradient tool again the old style shine white to transparent click and drag it's radial selected there i think it's okay for this ctrl d to deselect change that to overlay and i'm just gonna give a light shine there and you could even type in something in so with my type tool selected i'm gonna write my notebook you can slow the size hold on your alt sorry hold on your control shift and click on the lesser than key on your keyboard and greater than key on your keyboard to make it big and small hold on your alt and up and uh, up and down arrow keys to take it up and down there i'm going to change the size of this one to a bit bolder select hold I think make that really small so you can even use your transform tool ctrl t to size in your text it won't make any effect because it's going to even change your size here you can see oops got another over there okay let's make this a bit more fast to close and ctrl t to transform oops let's go that size there here we go you can just make a reflection for that so let's let's go back here Current duplicate your layer here and click on OK. Just call that reflection. Control T to transform. Right click, select flip vertical, and key to apply. Hold on your shift and your bottom arrow keys to just nudge that down. Okay, once you have that done, let's zoom in here. I'm going to mask this. You must be knowing how to create a reflection. I've showed that in most of my tutorials. So let's click on the mask layer here. Select a gradient. Right click, white to black and make sure you have really, really linear selected as your gradient and just click and drag downwards control i to inverse that yep and now let's lower the opacity just a slight reflection we want there not a lot brighter one just slightly okay control one to zoom back to a hundred percent there we go a nice curved front cover effect with some shadows in the corners there I hope you like this tutorial and make sure you visit my YouTube channel for more. Do rate and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.